that is a ladder that goes up. It's missing some rungs, but he's gonna go over and check it out. What do you see? All right, here's looking up into the uh, where the ladder goes. And he's right, it goes up into like a chamber. Another ladder goes off into that direction. It goes way up in there. Pretty amazing if uh, there was some safe access up there. Unfortunately, we have three rungs at the top of the ladder and nothing to the floor, so. It's only a dream above our heads at this point. at the uh, Dorchester Copper Mine here for a second uh, episode. And we're up here in this particular section that uh, we did visit in the first episode. This is the sequel we're returning because we have to go up that hole in the ceiling. Um, for those of you who tune into the Facebook uh, page, we did produce and show the, um, the alternate map for the levels that are above this. And uh, we just didn't have the opportunity to go up that hole with the old ratty ladders that are here all now chucked on the floor. Um, but we did look up in the hole and we do see some graffiti from 2015, so it looks like some people did attempt since the last episode. But we brought our own ladder here and uh, we're gonna do it ourselves. Okay, here we are at the bottom of the ladder and uh, looking up into the hole. This is where we couldn't go above our heads the last time. And there is the, uh, in the center of the screen is the 2015 new graffiti there in yellow. Okay. There's another one of those marks right there. See where they uh, chiseled in? Okay. Those must have been survey markers or something. I think we cannot use the bridge to light a bridge. Okay, now he's going up. We have our uh, safety tether so we don't end up losing our ladder later. As we get up in there and the ladders all fall down the hole back to here, we ain't getting down. Here we are up the hole and uh, now we're above the main drift where we had to abandon this the last time. We came up our ladder and we are on what's officially called level 30. And it's just a little drift that heads off down here. We'll just cover it quick while we're here. Comes to an end down here. And there is some uh, 2007 and slippy <laughs> graffiti again, so he made it up this far anyway. There's some water and so on, but uh, that's what we're dealing with. This is all there is to level 30. Now we're trying to get up to level 35, which is the uh, much larger starfish set of workings that uh, that we showed the map of on the Facebook group. And that is where the boys are looking up here, up in there. So the drift continues, but it's exactly over the hole. So we have to figure out a way to uh, 
to get across there if we can, and we're coming up with some safely. ideas. Yeah, to do it safely. Okay, they're bringing the ladder up because we're gonna see if we can use it, use it as a span. This yellow graffiti here is, uh, is new. They're so loud. The ladder's so damn loud. This new graffiti here from 2015. Cody, if you're watching, we was here too. Uh, they, they're gonna try to span from level 30 to level 35 and see uh, see how it looks here. They're gonna try and jam it. All right, we're just doing some, uh, some lashing here to uh, assist in the strength of the uh, extension ladder, just in case. And there we have it going up to uh, level 35. And it's just a matter of us safely getting across this and not falling the, uh, the 35 feet down to the, uh, to the main level. I am successfully up on level 35 now. So uh, here's the, uh, the top of the ladder is that we had to span it across. Here's what we're dealing with. Coming up from level 30 to 35. All right, go ahead if you want to go, go slow. Wow, he was way faster than I was. Okay, there's looking down again, uh, just to cover, recap, there's a uh, level 30. We're up on level 35 here with my boots, and way down there in the distance is the main level. Off here to the immediate right is, a, uh, is an uphill drift, kind of a, an incline shaft, and it's pretty narrow up in there, but we're considering uh, going up in it. He's gonna oh, just spy. Going yeah, and we saw this, this is on the map, and it does show that it goes up plus so many feet, um, indicating that it is an uphill climb. Okay, for reference, there's where we came up, and over here, there is the, uh, the top of the, uh, the rays. Shelf. Awful of rat shit that we saw down below. Okay, this is the, uh, the center intersection, we'll call it. Um, just up from the, uh, up from the, uh, the, the raise hole there where we came up through with the ladders, and this is what we're dealing with. So people have made it up this far. Uh, there's some, there are some markings. A Warren Fulkins 2002. There is a Wow 2002. And there are, uh, Drifts that go off. There's a kind of a collapsed one there. There's another one over here. And there's another one down in there. So let's roam around and see what we find. So it's pretty extensive up here, folks. That's why we didn't want to leave it behind because we thought that there, uh, there was quite a bit of drifting up here and it might have been interesting to come back. So that's why we're here. So now we're gonna venture off this, it's sort of this, uh, as you saw on the map, it's sort of a big starfish shape. We're heading off in one of the fingers, I guess we'll call it. And uh, it comes up here to a little junction. And it goes off over there. And the boys are heading down here. So we came down here in this direction. We took the, uh, the little right turn. And just so you can, uh, see this this uh looked like it was a big excavation out of here a fairly big room but it's all neatly backfilled 
with uh, rock piles like this with just a small space up in the ceiling. So that's what those little slash areas mean on the drawing of the map. Uh, Tom Anderson, Mego, Ontario, something. Um, June 1957. Okay, he's just crawling up in there in the back room. Yeah, he's calling it a no-go. He's doing some crawling around this uh, corner of the rock pile here. This is what, like I say, on the map, this is where they have it all slashed out with, uh, with crisscrosses. So, yeah, this is a no-go. No-go? Yeah, done. They fill it all the way to the back? So we're gonna leave the, uh, the rock pile and head back down to the intersection. And we'll continue on here. And it, held, uh, it goes here to the, to the right. And it just ends. So there they are back down in the uh, central station in the very middle of the starfish. Interesting to see a little graffiti here. Ladder that way. <laughs> There's an old marking F. Karis or K-A-R-R-I-S. Yeah, it looks like on the camera, 1960. Okay, we're heading off the main center, central station here again, off down into one of the other starfish legs. And uh, this is the next one. Oh, we've got some uh, some stall stoping in here. And they went way up in the ceiling there. There's a path over there, they say. Yeah, they backfilled their waste rock and didn't seem to take it out of here, but uh, there's some timbering. And well, let's go down here where they went around this corner. All right, more, uh, more rock piles. To the left of me is a dead end. To the left is a dead end up here. Yeah, stand up. And there's a blue copper vein at the back. Yeah, he scrabbled across this rock pile. There was a little hole to go in the back behind this pile that's to the ceiling. All right, he came out of there. They're just getting ready again to continue. We'll head back this way. And like I say, here's the, uh, the rock pile to the ceiling. And that's what those scratchy sections indicate on the, uh, the Kenko map. And that's where we came from. And it does go down here. This Let's take a walk. This is where we are going. Okay, this one uh, looks to be a long one. It goes off about uh, 80 to 100 feet into the distance. Here, see where it goes. Oh, and it looks like it comes to an end with some graffiti. Oh, do we have a chance to the left? We do, to some degree. I don't think it goes up in there far, but. Could you get an old bucket or something there? Oh, and it's a 2015. Look at this. A Merg. 2015. Dead end. And it's, we're being told it's a confirmed dead end. This actually isn't a dead end. I see it continues there through a little rat hole. Uh, before we go in there though, let's, uh, let's go take a look at this dead end. It goes up in there about 30, 40 feet. Yeah. And there's, uh, there's some hints of some copper in the walls. That obvious turquoisey green that you see. Okay, we're back here at the, uh, the graffiti. The Merg, the Joe, the 2015. And uh, if we go down here, it doesn't simply end. It does go into a rat hole there. I think that is an end, but let me just kneel in here a bit. Okay, he's gonna go in and take a look. 
That's it for that one. Okay, we're leaving this section and heading back to Central Station. <clears throat> All right, you always know you're back at you always know you're back at Central Station because of the uh, the muck. And we're gonna check this uh, drift off to the side of the razy shaft thing here. And there is some debris caving coming in from the side. There's a little brook that babbles down here, which is what's making all the mud. Okay, they're working their way through. There's back to our ladder coming up from level 30, which was up from the main level. We're just trying to get past that, uh, that collapse. Here we are at the ladder. I just want to, he, he's made it around and discovered that he comes uh, almost to, uh, well, he does come to this drift that's immediately to the right of where we came up. And I'm going to black out my light, look. <laughs> that's his flashlight up there. Let's, uh, let's go in here and take a peek up. Yeah, he's up in there with his light. Jesus, is that you? <laughs> so it connects, and he says it goes to the left up there. This was the alleged staircase to the outdoors. Okay, I'm gonna go through this rat hole. Did you, did you kneel on this wood okay? I did, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty heavy, heavy timber, so okay, if you could come up here to me, and I'll take it and just leave it filming. All right. Oh. Oh, look at that. How old is that? It's, it says Pepsi or something on it. What is it? A bottle. All right, he's coming through. The things we do to get into these drifts. There is the uh, upper portion of that crazy wooden rat shit shaft filled with fucking collapse and rock shit that we saw in the, in the other episode from down in the main drift. Here's that white fluffy stuff that was growing on the beavers that we saw in the other episode here. And it just kind of looks like cotton. Very, very fluffy, very fine fibers. There's life down here in the pitch darkness, folks. It's, it's odd, but it happens. Look at it all going up here. There's some jars here on the floor of different types. Looks like they were pulled out of the mud. They're just slathered in it, but... Uh, but here's where the drift goes. So there's an end there, and then uh, over here, oh, it starts to go uphill. So this is where it wraps right around and heads right over to the alleged stairs that we saw earlier where he was shining his flashlight down. So this is where he was to go do that. All right, at the very end of this, uh, this drift, here's the little rat hole he found that uh, it's very, very small. And that goes Keep into the, uh, yeah, just big enough for a body, maybe. He's going to go through it. <clears throat> and that goes out into the, uh, the staircase that he was shining his flashlight down. All right, I'm on the other side of the rat hole. I just came out there and came into this crazy uphill slope. He's going to make his way out now. And he's coming out feet first. Birth by Mother Earth. And that heads downhill another 40, 50 feet to, that's where he was shining the flashlight down. And uh, that's down to where our ladder is. So this, this is again, we're halfway up this uphill stairs oh. to the outside uh, that's shown on the Kenco map. Here's looking up the slope. And it goes up there to, uh, to what looks like kind of a hairy end where they just dumped shit down in here to fill it all in. There are some timbers up there. I'm going to climb up you. Oh, you're going to go take a look? They dumped this much shit in here. There must be a road up above. Yeah, this is all just loose fill. And this was, again, like I say, stairs to the outside. It's a, probably a 45 degree angle, all carved out. Oh, this is. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sketchy. Pretty sketchy. He's up by the timbering, way up there. 
and he's taking a peek up past the rim. Yeah, it just goes up and it's caved. It's up and it's caved, he says. All right. Okay. So like I say, there's, uh, I'm standing here on a ledge. Uh, he just came back down from up at the top of the alleged staircase to the outside and he says it's caved up there, which was no surprise. That little spot there is where we wiggled through from the drift. That goes down behind him there to the uh, about 40, 50 feet to the ladder area where we came up. And off to the left here, our left, my left, is uh, a drift that goes in, which is shown on the Kenco map. And we're going to take a walk in there and see where it goes. Okay, here is in this drift marked on the Kenco map. Uh. And it looks like the others, but uh, on the map it, it shows it just goes straight and comes to an end and does it. Yes, it does. Oh, there's some markings down here. Yeah. Harch, 1957. Torn, 1957. Anderson, I think we've seen some from them before. There's one hammered. Uh, that's actually physically hammered dot by dot, that letter S. All right, so let's go back to them in the staircase drift. Okay, here's the little rat hole that we had to squeeze through. There's looking into it. That's what I got to wiggle through to get back into the drift in there. Okay, now I'm on this side of the rat hole and here is our, uh, our drift back. So we're back here at Central Station on level 35 and we have, uh, we have explored every single uh, drift and section on the level, which brings this uh, to a completion, which is what we wanted. We wanted to come back here and, uh, and conquer the upper levels that we had to leave behind the last time. So consider this the sequel to uh, the Dorchester Copper Mine, the first episode, this is the Extended bonus feature section, <laughs> levels 30 and 35. See you next time.